This is a tailings basin for Esser Mining. We're building the dams all the way on the outside perimeter. Uh, mostly sloping is the biggest part of this project. We've been involved with this project probably about three years, and the first year was spent mostly blasting, removing the mass rock. The other part was doing the concrete work, pouring the footings, the tunnels. Right now we have uh, two 850J deer dozers with the top con an 850 Hitachi hole with the top con, an 850 deer with a top con, and they're installing one on a 450D excavator as well. We're using the GPS system to dig all the footings, keep track of all the quantities, general layout. They're doing all the excavation by GPS. They're not overcutting slopes, they're not undercutting slopes. We're building rail spurs and all the stuff for the new mines. Uh, excavating their, their overburden for their mine pit. With cutting all them slopes, it helps a lot for that stuff. At first, I was a little hesitant just for what the use was, but it, it's worked out. It's helped a lot with doing ditches and slopes. Um, I can help those dozer operators a lot more with it. Dozers are fine grading the footing elevation for the footing. We've been polishing slopes. It's nice to know that your equipment is spot on. We're not moving any more or any less dirt than we have to. That's a big advantage, and that's a huge savings for, for the company that really, you can't see it by project-wise, but over the long haul, making me a lot of money. I'm seeing it that if I take the time when I don't have a dozer operator with me, I can get it within a couple tenths. If I have a dozer working with me, um, I can cut it within you know six tenths or so and let him finish the rest. It's very accurate once you get used to it and running it, it helps a lot with your job. Collar dozer, we can actually get half a tenth accuracy or less. If you play with it a little bit and keep track with the rover, and once you roll it, you can establish how high you can set the dozer above grade when, once it's compacted, be spot on. It's real easy to sit there and watch your grade and know where your grade's at. The nice part is, is you don't have to always constantly watch it. You can check it real quick and go right back to digging when you gotta get your production out. I'm not really great with computer stuff or anything like that and don't really care for it, but it's, it's real easy to run. And it's the longer it's been, there's been more things I've been able to do with it. I can hop in the machine and if I gotta move to a different part of the project, it's just change to a different program and, and it's the way we go. It's, it's not a problem. You're not sitting waiting for grade guys. You know, usually it happens, you'll, You'll have to sit and wait for them to get out and check grade to make sure you're where you're at or make sure things are lining up and all I have to do is, is check on the program and on the right on the monitor and everything's there for me. I figure all, all the quantities, that way I double check what we were being paid. It gives us documentation to say, hey, this borrow pit should have been this amount of cubic yards and then you've got this amount and then we sit down, hash it out, reshoot it, whatever we have to do. I personally believe that the Topcon system pays for itself. I do see them probably investing in some more. We're getting some more equipment on this job and it seems like we do get one or two more pieces every time we get a piece of equipment that has a Topcon on it. Uh, it saves me so much work. Field time, survey time. If I have to run somewhere else, the dozers, the hose, they can all run a little bit of simple topo survey for me. I come back, I haven't lost any information. It really covers me. It covers me, allows me to do a lot of other things. The way you make money is you keep from losing money, moving more material than, uh, than you need to. That's the savings.